What's going on YouTube? It's your boy T News coming back at you with another video, man. And yeah, we got a quick video that I want y'all to uh, watch. And you know, we're gonna give out a little commentary on it. You know, just to go on and see what y'all think and what I think about it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's free, all right? We're gonna start this off. Let's go. Donald Trump promised to lead a mass deportation effort of people that entered the country illegally if re-elected. Now, I want to know, do you guys support that? No. No, not at all. I really don't support it, but at the same time, I understand it. Do you support that? No, I hate him. Well, no, okay, fine. <laughs> do you support that idea, though, deporting no. uh, those no. in the country illegally? No. I do not because I am an immigrant. Yeah. Perhaps. We'd have to see the plan. I think so, yeah. yeah. That is one of the one clauses that I do support uh, in reference to Donald Trump. I'm sorry, just to make sure I'm clarifying with people. Uh, deportation effort of people that are in the country illegally. That I'm, Okay, so we're understanding that? Yes. Why do you not agree with it? I don't believe in anything he thinks is a good idea. Honestly, I'm sorry, but I really don't, I don't got a thing for Trump, to be honest with you. Well, let's table Trump. Let's table Trump. Let's talk about specifically the policy, and the policy that's being proposed is a, you know, mass deportation of people that entered the country illegally. Right. So, I don't, yeah, just talking about that, I don't, I don't believe in none of that like deportation or sending people back. Or I feel like everybody should be allowed to come here. Like right. you know, what I mean, it shouldn't be against the rules to come on here, to come here or have any paperwork or anything like that. Why is that? Because it's a free country, supposedly. Wherever you are, that's where you belong. Especially if you're not doing nothing illegal. If they came into the country and broke a law entering, do you think that that should be enforced? Man, see, this is what I'm talking about right here, man. <sighs> That's what, like, I hate to say it, but man, like, black black folks, man, y'all y'all gotta start thinking, man, because just because you you come across the border doesn't mean that you get that you can just come here and just work and do anything else. Like, if you look at any other country, you cannot go into somebody else's country, start working, getting benefits from that country. They will deport your ass back real quick. Like it, even in the in the bad countries, you cannot go into other countries illegally, and they will let you stay there. Like I, I that's what I'm just trying to figure out. Like what made, I, well, I, I know what probably made y'all think that it is it, the news and stuff like that. Because like a lot of us, we watch MSNBC and CNN and stuff like that, and you know they try to make you feel like bad for deporting people who come here illegally but it's something that has to be done because like if you if you work you got to pay taxes and all that other stuff like a lot of them they don't they don't have to pay tax because like most of them they're working on the table and stuff like that so i don't know man i that that's why i'm just trying to figure out why 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 do people think okay you come here so you can just be here and stuff like that forced or no once upon a time ago, I was one of those people. <laughs> you came into the country illegally? Well, not Ill I came in as a child. I mean, I think they should go about it the legal way. A lot of those people are here on asylum claims. They have, you know, they're fleeing persecution in their home countries. They belong here. So I don't think any human being should be considered illegal. Yeah. Maybe undocumented and try to, like, make it regular, make it legal, but I don't think Kicking them out of the country and not thinking about uh, their lives here right. is the right thing to do. I think it's evil. There's not many people from here, so those that say kick them out, it's just all bad mouth. Did your family come illegally? So because we have a, a tie to illegal immigration in some way, don't crack down on it. If they're here illegally and you allow them to remain illegal, you're promoting criminalization because being here illegal is a crime. See, I'm kind of biased. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of biased. No, don't don't worry. I'm, I, I, I I wanna I wanna because ask because I came here illegal. Yeah. Well, I'm somebody who stands in like uh, as an activist in the community and everything, not just for like people of color, but just people of like of all different calibers. So anything that includes anything that's exclusive and not inclusive, then like I'm totally against. We talk about the asylum and stuff. The majority of the people are, it's it's a 
financial migration. You just claim asylum when you come here to enter the country. So that's how it works. Sometimes. I mean, Majority I, of the time. I, yeah, I don't know. 100%. I, I don't, I, <laughs> what percentage of Americans do you think support a mass deportation effort of people that are in the country illegally? What percentage? Yeah, if you were to guess. Oh, it's at least 50%. Over 50%, I'd say. 60%, 70 In the United States total? Yeah. Majority. Majority? Majority. Yeah. Here in Philadelphia, probably a pretty low number. 10, maybe 20%. That's too much, but still, maybe 20%. I'm trying to keep it low. Yeah. But uh, it should be 0%. I couldn't give you a percentage, but I think most people don't understand the issue. Right here, I have a CBS News poll, and I took some photos of a dog this morning, so let me just scroll back to it really quick. <laughs> They found that 62% of registered voters support deporting all illegal immigrants, not even just like a mass deportation oh, effort, wow. but all of them. Uh, that's including one third of Democrats. Now, what do you think about that number? That is high. You know how many illegal people are here? Like, like over, said, probably over 20 million <laughs> easy. You guys, let's take a few moments to talk about my good friends over at Allegiance Gold. Now, as we close in on the- All right, see, as you see, Man, like, a lot of people, they know that you're not supposed to be here illegally, but it seems like, like, morally, they don't want people to get deported back and stuff like that, but it's something that has to be done because when you start adding up everything that's going on with them being here illegally like them like undercutting like actual americans getting jobs and stuff like that because a lot of times uh, people would probably do a certain job for 20 some dollars an hour but if you could pay somebody who who is here illegally if you could pay them ten dollars an hour guess what they're not going to pay you twenty dollars an hour they're gonna pay them ten dollars an hour to save money, you know, to add more money into their business. Like I, I even had somebody the other day. He left a comment saying that the FedEx in Memphis had a lot of, of illegal immigrants working at the FedEx. So then they ended up. Um, ICE ended up raiding the FedEx and ended up deporting a lot of the workers that was there so then they had to go back out and hire a lot of people that was like american citizens that was in in memphis to work those fedex jobs like people don't understand like it, it trickles down to where if a company has a chance to they will always go with the cheaper option what do you think about this number i think it's bizarre i think it's twisted does that shock you or no a little bit yeah it depends where how you how you define illegal. I don't believe in it because wherever you are, if you're not doing anything illegal, then you should be able to stay. What about crossing into the country illegally? That's a different story. I don't think that's right. That's clearly too much. See, you see that like like that don't even make any sense what he just said because you saying you're saying as long as they're not doing anything illegal, but you you're doing something illegal coming into the country illegally like that's why it's called illegal well i guess too like they're they're trying they're trying to change the definition too that's one thing I, i've learned about democrats when they don't like something they try to change the definition to make it seem less harsh than what it is like, i i think i think now they're trying to call them like uh what is it they, they trying to call them like asylum seekers now and stuff like that like it, i don't know it's just crazy to see it happen and then like people just fall in line with it. Clearly, I'm not, I said like 20, that's 60, that's, that's entirely too much and it's not okay. I don't and agree, you, but I, I, you see I why. understand why. Why do you think? Um, Because they, I hear all the time that they feel like they come over here and steal our jobs. A lot of people can have inner hate, you never know the real reason. Why do you think that many people support deporting illegal immigrants in the United States? Because I feel like uh, people think that we come here and take your jobs and we um, take opportunities that you should have and we take the spaces that you should be um, taking and I think that's what they think. Right. And uh, do you think that's, I mean, what, what are your thoughts about that position? I think they don't know the reality of their uh, experiences, the immigrant experiences. 
so it's a little out of reality. I don't know, I think it's probably because more so to do a crime, I would think, or like the drugs and stuff like that. Right. That's probably, I would think, more so than anything. When they um, get free benefits and the working people have to pay for it, they're getting kind of tired of it. And they don't have to learn our language. They make no effort to fit into our society. Yeah, I mean, perhaps if people are coming legally, they have more of an incentive. They actually are putting forth effort to come to the country and become an American. Right. So over the last three and a half years, Joe Biden, his administration, they've allowed a, a roughly 10 million people into the country illegally. Uh, as soon as they get here, they claim asylum and then they come into the country. Now they, they come in, they get free food, free housing, free health care, free schooling, a bunch of other stuff, right? Even in some places, they get free money and welfare and food benefits, all that stuff, right? So you have places like Chicago, for example, where the community has brought in about 100,000 or, or more than that people that have entered the country illegally, and the community is showing up to city council meetings absolutely up in arms because they're, the city is actually having to shift resources to taking care of the people that are here illegally instead of the community that's struggling. Do you sympathize with that, or do you think that those people are foolish? I do sympathize with them. I'm sorry. I just, I'm a well-rounded person. I like to understand everybody. I have family in Chicago, so yeah. it's like, when you hear certain things, like especially with gangs and stuff like that, it causes a problem because, you know, it increases more violence, and it makes people scared to live at the day. So it's like, you just got to look at what it's bringing to that community. Most of the time, when it's coming to the community, they can get away with certain things. That's when it becomes a problem. I have people in Chicago, a lot of the locals, the leaders in the community, that are showing up to city council meetings and saying, you know, they don't want even, I think it, I think Chicago brought in like 100,000 people, maybe maybe even less, maybe like 50,000 people, uh, because of the problems that they have within their own community as it is. Uh, do you sympathize with those people, or do you think that they're foolish? Uh, are you from Philly? Yes. What do you see as plaguing the community when it comes to any problems that are plaguing the community? Like I just said, drugs, I'm sorry. Man, it's drugs. I I can't say the specifics, but, you know, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, you know, there's all the bad stuff right now, you know what I mean? I'm somebody who says here in the city of Philadelphia all the time, like, oh, you can't fix the potholes, or, oh, we don't have this bathroom, or, oh, it looks like this, but you're able to put it here, put it there. Gentrification and, and, and not integration. Now, the city of Philly, what does it have, 1.2 million, 1, 1 million people? Um, so you're looking at, like, 10 massive cities entering the country illegally, essentially. But what's happening is these people are showing up to communities, they're getting free housing, free food, free health care, free schooling, of course. You know, you mentioned uh, drugs, you mentioned gentrification, maybe even too many people. Uh, is housing an issue when it comes to affordability or no? Definitely here, okay. yes. Housing is too expensive right now. Right. Do you think adding maybe like, I don't know, 500,000 uh, illegal immigrants to Philly would enrich? the city and help it? No. Huh. There's like hardly any jobs here. You know, I can't. See, that's, that's how I like how, like, he's interviewing these people because, like, he's bringing up issues that is caused by uh, the immigrants coming because if you look at Chicago, if you look at Chicago and New York, both of them are going through those those same problems and it's, it's like worse like both of the city well chicago's going bankrupt and and new york is struggling so bad like they just said forget it we will give you plane tickets to go somewhere else and i think uh i think uh colorado is the, denver's the same way so it's just crazy because like they have the city since they claim that they wanted to be asylum cities Texas said, all right, you want you want to uh, let immigrants in, we're going to ship them to your states. And now all of these states are going bankrupt because of all of these illegal immigrants because they have to, they're, they're giving them all the benefits that, you know, that said black people would like, you know, especially if they were going through hard times and especially since the economy and everything is messing up. A lot of people aren't hiring and stuff like that. Like, it, and they have to, they have to deal with all of this stuff because they're 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 buying they're uh, renting out hotels and all this other stuff, giving these people free housing, free food, like they letting them live. But then you know, actual actual Americans, especially like homeless people, like there's 
there's plenty of stuff about homeless people. They can't get help. You're talking about veterans can't get help, but then you're out here helping people that's coming here illegally who haven't done anything for for the state. So, and it's, it's just terrible to to see. And I I hate to see that black people we we just fall for stuff like this and we just accept it because mainly if you look at the economic um, the economic thing, black people are the last ones. I think I think they say we average what 30 to 50 thousand dollars and we're at the bottom of the economic you know a fi financial uh thing so economy is being taxed uh when i say tax i mean it's being stressed out from that matter of uh, people uh, housing uh jobs we also need workers we need work there's a lot of like lower wage work that that americans don't want to do a lot of guys may come over and they um they may work under the table or uh, and then collect benefits. I feel like the government and like our city and everything and our state like take all of our money and they tell us that they're... Look at this brother, man. Brother, 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 brother. Look, that that is the face of a man who got no say in this household. <laughs> that brother, he is stuck with this liberal woman. He, he's thinking like, damn, I like, like this shit don't make no sense. But he, he ain't got no choice. He got to sit there and just listen to what his wife say. <laughs> because he's stuck. Look at her holding the baby like, dang. This woman don't make no damn sense. Putting it in places that matter and it Look never shows Look up in places where it is needed the most. <laughs> right. Resources is a problem. Yeah. Are you in favor them. of prioritizing those communities of Americans that are struggling over people entering the country illegally? Because you only have so many resources. I mean, so where do you, if, if you bring in 100,000 people into Philly, yeah. you're going to have to shift resources. Yeah. I would, I would say like, like a, like a 50, 75 percent thing, you know what I mean? I wouldn't put them too far ahead of them, but I would put them first because they're already Did here. Did you say 50, you know I mean? 75? Like, I, I think they do that more so because like, they don't really know what's going on over there. And they see what's going on here. I think they look at the opportunities difference over here. So do you think importing 300,000 people to your community would... Look at him, look at him, look at him. Hurt no, the community. But also, what was that? It wouldn't be enough. I'm not saying it wouldn't be enough resources for all of us. Living here in the look city. He finally said, look, son. He, he, he finally got a little bit of balls, baby. He finally got a little bit at the end. He like, he like, baby, come on now. Say, say you got to think about this shit. <laughs> you got to think a little bit, baby. Oh, God. Man, my people, my people barely take care of the people we have here. Oh, really? People, people struggling. People struggling. I work across the street, and in any given day, this park gets filled up with homeless people. See that? It homeless gets filled people. up with homeless people. You could be making an argument right now for, uh, you know, cracking down on the southern border and all of that. Do you see where they're coming from there? Or do you just think that they're fear-mongering? I see where they're coming from, but what, they, what you said that it's benefits, I see it as uh, surviving, giving them a chance to survive, survival. Um, well, it just costs the taxpayers in the community, you know, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Nationally, hundreds of billions of dollars. So that's kind of what we're talking about there when it comes to the resources for those struggling communities. Do you think that people, look down on illegal immigration because of those crises? I'm trying to think of just all the money that would be spent just to put these people back on the plane. Or however, you know, you're trying to get these people out of the country. It, that, it, it would... And you see, like I said, New York, they are going, they're so bad that the amount of money they're spending, they are freaking flying people out of New York and they was trying to stop them from coming up there from stopping the buses because uh, Texas they was busting them up there except New York tried to stop it so they just said forget it we're gonna fly them up there so they just come coming from uh, planes so and then just think about all of this money that they're spending in these states and people who pay taxes have to pay for this 
would, it would be expensive. Um, do you think that would be more expensive than 20 million or so illegal immigrants, um, you know, majority of them, or at least a good half, using social benefits such as welfare, housing, food, schooling, health care? But a lot of um, illegal immigrants, you can't even qualify for welfare. In many states, you can. You can? Okay, I didn't know that. I just don't agree that it's a benefit. What's, I'm sorry, you don't agree that the free housing or food or uh, schooling or health care is a benefit? No. You know, there's no doubt that but she She's biased because she's an illegal immigrant herself, and this woman is too. But... This woman right here, at least she kind of thinking a little bit. The other one, she's like, okay, I'm just not going to go against it because I'm an illegal immigrant. So, Taxpayers' money. And a lot of money. There's no doubt about I that. Mean, I get it. Like, if you're thinking about, like, criminals coming into the U.S., then yes, they sh should be deported. Yeah. See, and just like she said about criminals and stuff like that, it, it's a lot of criminals that's coming over because they're not vetting who's coming over because they're coming illegally, so they don't know who's coming over. Shoot, I think uh, they said that they found El Chapo's freaking freaking boss in Texas. He was, he was either in Texas or he was in Phoenix. But they found El Chapo's boss. Come on now, think about it. El Chapo, they found his boss in the United States. Come on, man. How would you know if criminals are coming to the U.S. if you're just allowing people to enter illegally, unvetted? I mean, is he allowing them to come in illegally or are they just making their way? Yeah, there was a uh, illegal immigrant that killed a mother of five. He was wanted and I believe it was El Salvador and uh, he was wanted for murder there as well as a robbery here in Los Angeles. There's, there's a lot of these situations that are happening and when you show up at the southern border, they're not doing DNA checks, they're not doing any of that stuff. Um, you actually just go to a border, how, border patrol agent, would, you get in the country. How are able to find all this information out though? Because people are coming, because when, when you watch the news, when they kill somebody, it's you get not caught. just South, um, people that are um, immigrating from South America. Nope. You have other all people over. that are coming from different parts of the world yep. making their way through South America. Yep, you're exactly right about that. I don't know, that's kind of tough. Probably about like 99%, maybe even fully 100, but I think it's about 99% of people that are entering the southern border right now uh, are claiming asylum because then people can use that argument that you're making right now. Surely, I mean, uh, you know, uh, because, you know, people want to get in the country. Like it. Right. I would do it. <laughs> what are you? All you have to do is claim asylum and then it's we can like, make the argument of, oh, they're asylum seekers? It's like it's like saying you want to have a day off of work. Should you call in sick even if you're even if you're actually sick or not? Of course people are going to call, you know. Shouldn't we just, I don't know, do more to just protect the southern border? Um, that was one of Donald Trump's positions right there is, you know, protect the southern border. When he was president the first go around. Nothing really changed. Uh, so illegal immigration plummeted under Donald Trump. It was also low under Obama as well, but it actually plummeted to about a 50 year low under Donald Trump. And then he was trying to build a wall, but I think, I can't remember how many, how much money they was trying to use to build the wall and, you know, help with the border and stuff like that. But, you know, they blocked it, but after spending all this money on the illegal immigrants, I think they said they they are paying like triple, they're triple past the amount of money that he wanted. So pretty much you, you already could have been on built the wall and been, you know, protecting the border, but you just gave up on it. So they they pretty much could have been on secured the border, but they the Democrats stopped it, but I guess it was part of their plan. You know what? That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they've broken a law, then, then, then the, you know, they should have the consequences that they're going to have. And what would you say to the people that want just open borders completely when it comes to letting everybody in illegally? What would you say to those people? Feel bad for your grandkids. They're not going to have a future. Would you support prioritizing the Americans within your community, bettering their lives right now with the limited resources over 
people that are coming into the country illegally, not even legally. <laughs> uh, so you can't say nothing. Come on, bro. I'm here for us. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. Yeah, brother. He drew a little bit of ball. When it comes to dealing with people that are in the country illegally, is putting America and our communities first. Yeah, it seems like something that yeah. a lot of people yeah. can agree on. Overall, I will say that I am here for us oh, and protecting oh. our resources and the things that we need. Um, although I do feel for the other party. You're, you're compassionate. I'm you know, so you, you, you want it. You want to better people's lives, yeah. right? You want to better people's lives. But you know, I got to get right. So if we had the opportunities, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, us being able to share the resources, but we don't really have the resources to share it, and uh, it kind of makes makes it hard for us. It's not just a one party or, 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 or a uh, Biden situation, Trump situation. It's a United States situation, and um, we got to deal with it um, together. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So we talked a lot about putting them. All right, well, pretty much that's the end of the video. I will leave the person who create this video i leave it down in the description but as you see my people my people we gotta be stop being so dang compassionate man jesus we need to grow some balls like old boy did in a little bit and freaking learn that united states should always be first the citizens who stay here because all of that money that's going to these migrants could go to veterans people who need it or homeless people so that's that's the only thing that i'm just trying to figure out like why aren't y'all thinking about this and plus we have to pay for it and you know and they're coming here and they don't have to pay for it they're, they're getting all the benefits when it could go to people who actually need it like a lot of people they don't mind paying taxes but as long as the taxes go to helping, you know, people in need, that's in the United States. But some people, they're just so compassionate that they don't think about it going to people who haven't even put in. So, but if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Don't really matter. But it's your boy, T News, and I'm out. Peace.